Hey guys, so I got to talk to somebody who has pretty good insight on what's kind of going on in the studio. I'm not going to go into it all, but there's a couple major topics I do want to talk about. First and foremost is death threats to the developers. Unfortunately, this, like other things I'm going to talk about, is something that's been going on under our noses, in front of us, that we've overlooked, didn't pay enough attention to, and haven't realized how bad it's actually gotten. And apparently there's even worse stuff that we don't see when it comes to death threats towards developers. And this needs to stop. This does not have any place of belonging, and that includes the Call of Duty community. So if you see this on any platform, step in and squash it, and don't ignore it. No one should have to fear for their well-being over a fucking game. Especially around the holidays. If, if you are a subscriber to me, and you yourself have sent out death threats, go ahead and unsubscribe, please. I do not want your viewership. Now let's go ahead and talk about why this portion of the community is upset. We have a couple issues that haven't been addressed, acknowledged, or proposed any solutions for, so we feel like those issues are getting ignored or overlooked. People are upset. But this part of the community, myself included, pretty much did the same thing. We were so caught up with a couple of problems that we overlooked all the solutions to a plethora of other problems that were provided in a timely manner over the past month of the game being out that we took for granted. And the track record for those patch notes is actually pretty impressive compared to the track record of fixes and updates through the life cycle of previous Call of Duties. I think a lot of us can remember a few in recent years whose updates and fixes and patches and trying to balance the game ended up actually hurting the game. And then they had to drop patch notes and fixes for the problems they caused with the last patch notes and fixes, so it was like taking medication to cure the side effects of the other medication you're already taking. A lot of those updates had big portions that had negative effects on those games, and it was frustrating, but the Modern Warfare... No, I can honestly say that like 90% of the patch notes that I read and experience are positive or neutral. And to do so in such volume and consistency, in such a timely manner and direct response to players' complaints is impressive. It needs to be acknowledged. And unfortunately, me included, a lot of the community overlooked. When you really sit back and look at all that's been added or altered to the game in a positive or neutral effect over the past month, you do begin to realize just how hard they've been working and how much they have on their plate. They do massive amounts of detailed testing and provide a lot of incremental changes, which is how you should do it. So you don't end up jumping the gun and overdoing a buff or a nerf, like in recent Call of Duties. You give yourself some room. If you need to tweak a little bit more later, you can do so without throwing off the entire balance of the game. And matchmaking is no different. There's going to be uh, tweaks and testing. They have been and are still going to be consistently running numbers. If the numbers look good, then they're good. If they start to change, well things will change. At least that's what I got from the conversation. But they are still listening. They don't want to put any changes, let alone changes bigger than incremental, without doing enough testing to have an accurate or close to accurate idea of how it's going to affect the balance. And if they even want to do it. That's the process in which they are finding solutions. So with that said, I think I have more content understanding of why we haven't heard any tell about skill-based matchmaking. Just know they are listening, they are running numbers, they are working on things, and I hope some of you can be content with that info as well. As for the minimap, though, that is probably just going to not change. Um, but who knows? Maybe they could add some playlist or some game modes that have a traditional minimap, but I don't think it's ever coming to standard, guys. Take all this for what it is, handle it how you want to handle it, but just don't be dropping death threats over this stuff. That's so dumb. Me personally, I'm just going to do what I usually do. I'm going to play the game, have several good matches, and then the game is going to put me in the lobbies where people have the same play style and use the same weapon, and those cookie cutter lobbies are going to burn me out. And then I'm just going to play something else. I'll probably hop on Modern Warfare Remastered. And if I feel like playing and getting burnt out again, I will do so. I know there will always be patch notes to look forward to, to experience, and of course critique, and hopefully enjoy. I really do like the content in this game, but I'm going to be taking breaks and playing other things. I suggest if you're getting burnt out, you do the same. And also check back in when updates drop. I think that's a good way to handle it. They are still catching up and working their asses off on patch notes in direct response to complaints or issues affecting players after the huge content drop and even some prior. So I'm going to cool it on the topic of matchmaking for now. I think I've got an answer that would... Uh, leave me content enough to just take a break. I suggest we all give them room to breathe and finish what they're working on at the moment and let them enjoy the holidays. And don't worry, I'll still be discussing different aspects of the game. For instance, the map crash I'm going to go over, the changes, 
that I like, that I think are actually pretty cool, and a few critiques. I'm sorry if some of the things in this video weren't things you wanted to hear, but in the end, I hope the main message got through that we need to work together to rid the death threat toxicity out of the COD community. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep the conversation going down in the comments. And if you don't share the video, please at least share the message. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.